tonight on our last episode of CTV this semester. We have an ode to our weather anchor Elizabeth Crossy, who will be graduating and moving on to great things. Plus, we take a look at some of our funniest bloopers from this semester. All this, plus weather, sports, entertainment, and more, coming up on CTV News right now. Thanks for tuning in to our last CTV show of the semester. It's been a great year. I'm Grace Reeder. And I'm Emily Biffinger. While I'm sad that the semester of CTV is coming to an end, that means summer break is coming, mm -hmm. and I'm not sad about that. Neither am I. Are you doing anything fun? Yeah, I'm actually um, moving to Israel for two months, so that's kind of crazy. What that's are you sweet. doing? Internship? Internship. Sweet. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to Israel. Hopefully, hanging around <laughs> doing some internship stuff. But not Israel. Adulting. <laughs> <Yeah>. Adulting is hard. <laughs> well, if you've been following CTV this semester, you've likely seen our live reporter, Michelangelo Bustamante, from the field. He's our incredibly talented live reporter, but do you know what goes on behind the scenes? We decided it was time to figure that out. Take a look. <laughs> Thanks, Grace and Emily. I'm here outside of the newsroom. I just got breaking news. The Collegian's gonna be closing down. Uh, wait. Oh, just kidding. That's not actually happening. But, uh, is it Grace again? Grace, what? <laughs> Thanks, Liz. I'm here outside of the LSC. The weather is absolutely beautiful and we, yeah? Okay, I'll be right there. Thanks everyone, I'm here outside of the LSC Theater where Oprah's doing a live show and... Hold on, what? Oh, okay, so it's not Oprah, it's just... Oh, it's just a... it's just a student, okay. Sorry about that, guys. Well, anyways, I'm here outside of the theater and any, uh... Yeah? <laughs> All right, Grace, I'll be right there. Thanks, everyone. I'm here outside of the CSU football stadium where my executive producer just told me that football is being canceled for next year and... What? No? Oh. I don't know why they keep telling me that. Where do you want me to go? <sighs> All right, we'll be back in a minute. Hey everyone, I'm here outside of the Morgan Library and there's some sort of breaking news going on here. No one told me what's going on, but something's going on here. What? No, not here? Where? All right, I'll be at the Oval in five minutes. Thanks, Grace and Emily. I'm here at the... What? You gotta be kidding me. All right, I'll be right there. Angelo? Hey, Grace. Hey, well, we, buddy. What's going on? <laughs> you a little sweaty there? A little bit, yeah. Wow. Well, we actually called <sighs> you here because we figured you'd like to introduce our best of video. <sighs> All right. I mean, yeah, sure, I'll do it, Grace. <laughs> so, yeah, no problem. It's been an incredible year here at CTV. So, to make tribute, we created a best of video to celebrate some of the greatest moments here at CTV. Take a look. 
Good evening, Rammies. I'm the queen of entertainment anchors, Delaney Herring, and we have a great show for you tonight, as usual. You're welcome. Known for its local businesses and in more recent years, its seemingly constant construction projects. Located in Campus West by Colorado State University, the last standing local video rental store is beginning to feel some of the negative effects. Welcome back from the break. I'm sports anchor Alexandria Clow catching you up on the latest spring sports news. The football team just finished their 14th spring football practice today. Currently, we're seeing temperatures at 61 degrees with a gentle breeze coming out of the west southwest. And there's a 30% chance it's cloudy this evening. And then partly cloudy ending our week with Thursday. And that is all the time we have for now. Up next is Tim McGraw with sports. Hello, Ram fans. I'm your sports anchor, Tim McGraw. Oh, check, check that. It's Tim McCall. And here I am with all the latest in the world of Ram sports. It truly has been a great year. We would also really like to take a second and thank our executive producer, Bailey Lakey, who does so much. She's not on camera as much this semester, but she does a ton behind... Uh, does a ton of work behind the scenes. We've been graced with an amazing leader and we are incredibly thankful for you, Bailey. Well, now it's time to break out the tissue box. We have a number of seniors here at CTV who've shaped us into the reporters, anchors, and leaders that we are. We're incredibly thankful for all of the seniors this year who have led the way and made CTV a wonderful place to learn and work. Good evening, I'm your Humans at CSU host, Bryn Carmen. Oh God. <laughs> I'm Bailey, and I just want to say thank you so much to Bryn Carmen, who has been such an inspiration to me my entire time here at CTV. She really took me under her wing two years ago and really taught me everything I know, and she is going to be sorely missed this coming year. Um, thanks, Bryn, for everything you've done. Welcome back from the break with your CTV weather. I'm Sierra Symes. Hi, I'm Alec and I want to thank Sierra Simons for everything she's done for the past couple years here at CTV. Thanks for being one of the most bubbly personalities that we have to work with. You always kept the mood up while we were working in, in a high stress situation. That is something that's very welcome. Thanks for everything you've done with the weather position, with news, with like every job you've ever had with us. You've done a vast amount of work in a short amount of time and we cannot appreciate that enough. Hey there Rams, I'm weather anchor Elizabeth Prossi. Hi, I'm Carson, and I uh, just want to give a shout out to Liz. I love you, girl. You're awesome. You're my hometown Texas girl, so represent. And you're going to do great things, and th thanks for taking on this little freshman guy. I'm Nicole Hines. We have a bunch of entertainment updates and fun games in store, so you're not going to want to take your eyes off of that screen. I'm Emma Anacone, and I want to thank Nicole Hines. Uh, she has been my best friend throughout the past two years at CTV, and um, it's going to be really sad to see her go. But um, I know she's going to do great things in life, and I really look up to her. So it'll be good to see her succeed in life. So. Good evening, Rams, and welcome to another week of CTV Sports. I'm Olivia Landis. I'm Grace Reader, and I just want to say thank you to Olivia Landis, who will be graduating from the sports program this semester, for everything that she has done for that program and everything she's done for me personally. Um, she has really taken strides for the women in that program and women in sports, and she's definitely an inspiration to all of us who would like to do that in the future. Thanks so much, Olivia. Good evening, and thanks for tuning in to CTV News. I'm Willis Scott. Hi, I'm Emily Biffinger, and I just want to talk about um, our graduating senior, Willis Scott. He and I were co-workers last semester, and we were both anchors together, and we've become great friends. And honestly, Willis, you were going to go so many places and touch so many people's lives, and your brutal honesty um, makes people better and makes us all want to be better people, whether it's journalists or reporters or just friends. Um, I just want to thank you so much for the year and a half I've known you and you're such a kind soul and I only wish you the best. And I'm Carly Schwartzkopf bringing you the latest updates on CSU Sports. Hi, I'm Tim McCall, a sports anchor for the Tuesday Night Show on CTV. Um, I wanted to give a special thanks to one of my bosses, Carly Schwartzkopf, who has been the Monday Night Sports anchor the whole time I've worked here at CTV. Um, she's been a big influence um, on my career here at CTV. Um, not only has she taught me everything that I need to do and shown me um, how to be a sports journalism and a sports anchor, um, but she's also made sure that I fit in um, the whole time that I've been here. Um, this is my first year with CTV, um, and Carly made sure that I felt like a veteran the whole time I was here. Not once did she ever talk down to me or, or treat me like I was a beginner. She made me feel like a part of the team, 
Uh, and for that, I'm really, really appreciate appreciative of everything that she's done for me and I'm really gonna miss her. Thank you Carly so much for everything that you've done for me. I really appreciate it. I'm Michelangelo Bustamante and I just wanted to say a big thanks to all the seniors. Um, you know I came into CTV this semester and I really didn't know anyone or anything about journalism and I've fallen in love with it and it's because of all the help that I've gotten from the seniors so thank you. I'm Ryan Christ and I just wanted to thank every senior for being such a huge inspiration at CTV. I came in as a freshman and the seniors really taught me how to do everything especially Nicole who taught me how to write all the seniors were just such a great help and really got me to where I am, so thank you. Thank you to those seniors again, and we look forward to seeing what you do in the future. That's all the cheesy sappiness we have for news, but definitely don't go anywhere because Liz Prossy is up next with her last ever weather segment. Stay tuned. Tune in to KCSU, your student-run radio station at Colorado State University. Live 24 hours a day, every day at 90.5 FM and kcsufm.com. Live local new music now and news, talk, and sports. KCSU, the radio voice of Colorado State on the air since 1964. You're watching CTV, produced by Colorado State University students, bringing you news, weather, sports, and entertainment from campus and beyond. CTV live Monday through Thursday at 7 p.m. on campus and Fort Collins on Channel 11. Repeats at midnight, 8 a.m., noon, and 2 p.m. The Rocky Mountain Collegian is your student-run news and information platform. Pick up your paper on campus or around Fort Collins Monday through Thursday with special editions Fridays. And check out Collegian.com anytime for all the latest updates. News, sports, entertainment, opinion, and more. The Rocky Mountain Collegian, serving Colorado State since 1891. College Avenue has been your student magazine for the last 10 years. College Avenue prints once a month covering topics that are relevant to the CSU and Fort Collins community. We also print special editions like the graduation guides at the end of each semester, the best of CSU each fall, and the orientation guide each summer. Look for us on racks around campus, off campus, or online at collegian.com under the College Avenue tab. Welcome back Rams, I'm weather anchor Elizabeth Prossi with your final weather update. It's the end of April, so let's do a little monthly comparison. Now looking at the month of March, our high was 82 degrees, very warm, almost the entire month was spent above average. The average is 55 degrees, as you can see, we were 30 degrees above average. Now because we were so warm, the month of March is normally our snowiest month on record, but no snow, all of our precipitation was in liquid form. And in April, we're looking at a high of 81 degrees, only 20 days above average. Again, no snow just yet, but we do have snow in the forecast. I won't get ahead of myself because currently here in Fort Collins, we're looking at clouds and sprinkles, 50 degrees, but look at this, gusts coming out of the northwest at 23 miles per hour. And we do have some thunder in the vicinity this evening. Thanks to that cold front moving through, it's going to be cold for our overnight lows, looking at 34 degrees in Fort Collins and in Denver, freezing mark in Colorado Springs and in Pueblo, teens in Vail and in Telluride. For your Friday, we're going to see the showers continue, mainly dry as you're walking out the door for your morning classes, just shy of 40 degrees. By lunchtime, warming up, staying below 50 degrees tomorrow, those rain showers will come, and with it, we'll see those winds gusting around 15 miles per hour, 47 degrees at 4 p.m. Now, our, our highs for tomorrow also show that cold front is keeping it cooler than average for this time of year. 48 degrees is going to be our high in Fort Collins, 50s along the I-25 quarter, 58 degrees though in Pueblo, a little bit warmer out on the eastern plains. Lamar, you're looking at 63 degrees. Our seven-day forecast shows that we're going to have really a mixture of all sorts of weather. Rain Friday, but bringing in that chance of snow Saturday. Good news is Sunday, the sun is coming back out, and we've got clouds, rain coming back in the forecast Tuesday, and then partly cloudy skies for the middle of your dead week. So you notice those temperatures overall not going to be super hot or super cold. Now to end my final weather segment, it's the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good news is it's almost the weekend. The bad news, it's our last show of the semester. The ugly news, it's my last CTV weather segment ever. Oh wait, we're on the weather. So for the good news, spring weather returns this Sunday. We're gonna again see those sunshine temperatures in the upper 50s. Bad news, it's gonna be cold and wet through Saturday, rain and snow showers. And the ugly, those April showers will bring May snowstorms. So don't be surprised if we do get a snowstorm for finals week. 
And there you have it, Rams. I could say something cliche like good luck on finals, have a great summer. But since it's Thursday, I'm going to throw it back to the Backstreet Boys and say what makes you different makes you beautiful. And with that, this weather girl is out. Good afternoon, Rams. I'm Alyssa Frosty with CTV 11 Weather. I hope you're enjoying your Friday afternoon. Now, trick or treat. Well, the good news is the weather is bringing us a treat here in Fort Collins this year. So make sure you bundle up tonight, Rams. It is going to be cold. When are we going to finally start seeing some snow? I'm Elizabeth Prossi with your game day forecast live here at Hughes Stadium. It's currently 32 degrees outside. We're hovering right at that freezing mark, and this is coming after a relatively cold November. Has it been just a cold week? It's been a record setting cold week as this blast of Arctic air plunged temperatures well below normal. It does feel more like 42 degrees, so you're still going to want a jack as you head out to the men's basketball game this evening. Still seeing that occasional snow flurry, but not quite what we saw this morning. Now with those winds, we do have a wind chill at 21 degrees, so it is still going to be a cold evening. We'll see a small high pressure system kind of warm us up a little bit after this really cold week. But Sunday night into Monday, we do have an upper level disturbance that will bring us a chance of rain and possibly some snow. It's still February and speaking of February, that means we have a ski resort of the week for you. So what that means is it looks out in the sky and it picks up on, say, lightning strikes. And that's something that I've observed. And we can see, okay, there are more lightning strikes here in Colorado. Is that because our protection system, like Vasla, is better recording these number of strikes? Or are there actually more strikes? Why hello there, I'm Regina George on this Mean Girls edition of CTV Weather. It's spring break begins this week and that's right Rams. For your spring break I took a look at a few places Rams are going to be visiting. I'll see you next time. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. That's why we're here. We're free and here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Picking a college, man. You and us we go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Go to GetSchooled.com. Welcome back from the break. I'm sports anchor Alexandria Clow bringing you the latest in the Colorado State Athletics for the last time this semester. And because it's the last show, you better bet I'm repping the James Harden jersey. To start off with, I have to touch on the football spring green and gold game that took place on Saturday. The green defense offensive team won the game 43 to 40 after the five yard touchdown pass to Ola BC Johnson from Nick Stevens. This was a special game because it was the first football game played on the CSU campus in nearly 50 years and it helped get the fans excited for the new on-campus stadium. The gold defensive team was able to get an early lead thanks to interceptions from Connor Donahue, Jake Schlager, Jamal Hicks, and Josh Watson. But the big lead did not last long as the green team came back with touchdowns from Marcus Wilson and Michael Gallup. The green team also had two field goals from Wyatt Bryan and quarterback Nick Stevens finished the game 19 and 35 for 247 yards with two touchdowns and three interceptions. On the defensive side, Josh Watson led the scrimmage with 11 tackles. The team has a little bit of a break until the home opener on August 26th against Oregon State. This game will be played in the new stadium. The men's and women's track and field teams continue to make headlines. Numerous personal bests were set at the Jack Christensen of Invitational on Saturday. Mustafa Hassan won the shot put event by six and a half feet and a mark of 19.87 meters. Another CSU member, Daniel Wellrich, took second place with a mark of 17.95 meters. Hassan also won the discus event with a mark of 51.99 meters. Now on the women's side, Aaliyah Pete won the shot put event with a mark of 15.81 meters. And Gabby Smith won the pole vault event by one and a half feet. 
The men's team also continues to move up in the weekly U.S. Track and Field and Cross Country Coaches Association as they are now in the 12th spot. The Rams started off the season starting sitting in the 21st spot. These rankings are based off of a computer point system. Many of CSU's points come from Mustafa Hassan himself. And speaking of Hassan, he was just named Mountain West Outdoor Track and Field Athlete of the Week for the third time this season. He is still leading the nation and is still in the fifth spot in the world. The teams head to Irvine, California for the Adidas Steve Scott Invitational tomorrow that will go on throughout the weekend. The softball team had a great weekend as they shut out UNLV 5-0. This win brought the Rams to 8-5 and five in conference play, and the team is currently sitting in the 8th spot in the Mountain West. On Sunday, Bridget Hutton allowed three, only allowed three hits and two walks to the UNLV Rebels. The defense also played well as several ground balls were handled right away by Hannah McCorkill, Taryn Arcaris, Haley Hutton, and Corinna Gamboa. UNLV was only able to get one player on to second base the entire game. Bridget Hutton was also just named Pitcher of the Week. This marks her as the first CSU player to earn an award from the conference this season. Hutton has a 3.70 ERA in her 21 appearances this season, as well as she had 55 strikeouts, 10 complete games, and 3 home runs. The team heads to Reno, Nevada for the final road series of the season this weekend. After the series, the team come back, comes back to host the Ram Classic. The CSU soccer team was also part of the Spring Sports Festival on Saturday, as they had a spring scrimmage against CSU Pueblo. Colorado State won the scrimmage 3-1 and the goals were made by Hannah, Hannah Gurdon and Maddie Rodriguez. The whole first half was slow as there, were no score, there, as there was no scoring on either side. But at the very start of the second half, Rodriguez was able to score eight, with eight minutes left after Gurdon found the net after a turnover by the Thunderwolves. Before the game, Taylor Hodgson and Janelle Stone were named the 2017 team captains. The team now has the entire summer to prepare for their 2017 season. Thanks for watching this entire semester. Best of luck on finals and don't go away because Delaney is up next with entertainment. You are listening to 90.5 KCSU Fort Collins with DJ Mean Beat. DJ Nightshade. DJ Wildcard. Music to me is one of the best creative outlets that I can think of. An escape from the real world. Music to me is an expression of love. To go from like folk to hip hop to like classic rock, 1960s bossa nova. With music, there's like no boundaries. I work here because I love music and you do too. Guys, this is the last show of the semester. You have to spend the entire summer without my beautiful face and my sometimes witty jokes. But hey, you can watch all of our shows on YouTube, so if you miss me too much, you can watch my reruns of my entertainment segment. You're very welcome, Rammies. It's tradition here at CTV to end the semester with some bloopers. The great part about being on TV is that whenever you mess up, it's recorded forever and ever and ever. We never really mess up, but the few times we did, we saved and compiled for you. Enjoy. I am Delancey, and we are here playing the newlywed game with... <laughs> hey. I have like a burp coming, so... There we go. <laughs> Alright. One. You are in charge. Get it together. I know, that's why. Okay. You burped and blew it into my face. No, I never do that stuff to her. <laughs> and 38. Well, that's the latest in. <laughs> How are we gonna do that, though? There's no good way to do that. How are we gonna do that? Shh, Josh, I swear to God, I will come take you down. It's beautiful outside. <laughs> I promise we are still hireable. I'm now joined by my lovely co-anchors. We figured if we're going to go out, we would go out together. 
Thanks for watching CTV all semester. We appreciate your support, and we hope to see you here next week, next year. Have a safe and fun summer, Rams. Everyone, wave goodbye. <laughs>